This is the video tutorial for exercise four, parallel citations, problem number one. Um, as with the problems that we've done in the previous exercises, we're going to break this down into pieces. And uh, we're up to the point now where we have all of the pieces of the citation available to us. So we're going to start with the case name, move on to the case location, and then finish up with the court and the date. And of course, the twist here in this exercise is that you have uh, parallel citation information which changes both how you handle the case location and also how you handle the court and date. So starting with the case name, Lyons versus Fairmont Real Estate Company. Um, the case name as it stands is pretty much exactly the way it needs to be. And so you leave that as it is, and you italicize that. And just in case you want to make sure, uh, we can flip back to T6 to see if we have abbreviations for real or estate. And looking at estate, which is the first one you would think we might have an abbreviation for, we find that it goes from equipment to examiner, so nothing for estate, and then nothing for real also. So we just italicize that, and then we're going to follow that with a comma and a space, and now we're ready for the uh, case location information. Now, we have a Supreme Court um, of Appeals of West Virginia case. And so what we're going to do is we're going to turn to T1, and the West Virginia section, because what we're concerned with is sort of the law of the land in the jurisdiction that the case is from, not that the document is going to be filed in. So we've got West Virginia, and we've got a West Virginia case that we're going to be citing in a brief to the Supreme Court of Virginia. Now, you use parallel citations when you are citing decisions of a state to that state. And the reason is that lawyers and judges in that jurisdiction might have one of the off-print reporters that are mentioned in the chapter for Exercise 4 in the Interactive Citation Workbook. Um, they might have the regional reporter. They might have the official state reporter. And so you provide them with all of those, um, uh, with all of those reporter options. Um, here we're citing the Supreme Court of Virginia. Lawyers and judges in Virginia are not likely to have all of those various West Virginia reporters. It would simply be too expensive um, to keep all of that stuff either in print in the library or to have subscriptions to all of that. And so because we're citing a West Virginia case to a Virginia court, we won't need to give all of those parallel citations. When you don't give parallel citations, all you give is the regional reporter. And so here it's going to be Southeastern Reporter. So if we look at the West Virginia section of T1, we see that the uh, Supreme Court of Appeals of West Virginia, which is the only court that has its opinions published apparently, is published in both Southeastern Reporter and West Virginia Reports. Now remember, we're not going to um, we're not going to use that West Virginia Reporter because nobody in Virginia is going to have that. So we're going to go to the Southeastern Reporter. We have an option for the first series and the second series, and it looks like we're dealing with the first series here. So Volume 77, the abbreviation for Southeastern Reporter it tells us is S period E period. Those are two single capital letters, and so we don't space between them. We'll space after the E and then the page number that the case starts on. Another space, we'll open the parentheses. And again, we go to Table 1 for West Virginia, and we see the abbreviation for the Supreme Court of Appeals in parentheses besides the word, beside the word Supreme Court of Appeals is W period space VA period. Another space, and we'll give the year of decision, which is 1912, and then a period at the end, and that is it. That wraps it up. Now, the reason that we space between the W and the VA 
is because VA is a longer abbreviation. It's longer than one capital letter, and so you have to space between it and any other abbreviations. And so that's why that one has a space between it.